Hi friends. You're watching Discovery Agriculture YouTube channel. If you're not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe now. Today we'll show you how to farm teak wood. Believe it or not, you can earn 5 crore rupees in 1 acres of land. Watch this video till the end to know the complete procedure. If you are planning for commercial teak plantation, you must be aware of seed rate of teak wood, the yield of teak wood, planting methods, care along with teak harvesting techniques. So why wait, let us dive into detailed farming of teak wood. Teak wood known as the king of timber belongs to the family Verbenaceae. Its scientific name is Tectona grandis. It grows as a huge tree and yields excellent quality wood. Therefore teak wood has a higher demand in national as well as international markets. Articles made of teak wood have high durability or quality and hence with the increased consumption of teak in household and office interiors, teak has become an indispensable part of people's lives all over the world. Normally superior teak plants are grown on a commercial scale, it is possible to earn good profits with low risk. When grown on fertile soils with irrigation and scientific management, each tree yields 10 to 15 cubic feet wood in about 14 years. The main stem grows to a height of 25 to 30 feet and attains a girth of 35 to 45 inches. About 400 genetically superior teak plants can be grown in one acre, by adopting a spacing of teak plants as 9 feet by 12 feet. Varieties of teak wood, 1, Nilambur or Malabar teak. 2, South and Central American teak. 3, West African teak. 4, Adilabad teak. 5, Godhavara teak. 6, Kanai teak. The climatic requirement for teak wood production. Teak prefers moist, warm tropical climate. It can withstand extremes of temperature, but maximum and minimum shade temperatures of 39 to 44 degrees Celsius and 13 to 17 degrees Celsius respectively are the most favorable for its growth. It grows well in rainfall zone of 1200 to 2500 mm. Teak has been classified as a pioneer species. Hence, it requires a high light intensity for its growth and development. Apart from rainfall and moisture, soil, and light intensity, other factors such as temperature and elevation also play important roles in limiting the distribution and growth pattern of the species. Soil requirement for teak wood plantation, teak grows best on deep, well-drained alluvial soils derived from limestone, schist, gneiss, shale, and some volcanic rocks, such as basalt. Conversely, the species performs very poorly, in terms of growth and stem forming, on dry sandy soil, shallow soil, hard pan soil or lower water table soil, acidic soil, pH less than 6, derived from late right or peat bog, and on compacted or waterlogged soil. Soil pH is another factor limiting the distribution and stand development of the species. Although the range of soil pH in teak forests is wide, 5 to 8, the optimum pH range for better growth and quality is between 6.5 to 7.5. Importance in teak wood plants, teak soil is relatively fertile with high calcium, phosphorus, potassium, nitrogen, and organic matter contents. Several research studies indicate that teak requires relatively large amounts of calcium for its growth and development, and teak has been named as a calcareous species. The amount of calcium content in the soil is also used as an indicator of teak site quality. That is, the greater the proportion of teak to other associated species, the higher the calcium content in the forest soil. Nursery raising of teak wood plantation and seed rate well-drained sandy loam with gently sloping terrain is suitable for preparing nurseries. Each bed is of 1.2 meter size, spaced at 0.3 meter to 0.6 meter between beds and 0.6 meter to 1.6 meter between rows of beds. Each bed produces about 400 to 800 plantable stumps. The ground is plowed and the area of the depth of 0.3 meter roots, stumps, and stones are removed. The clods of earth are broken fine. The soil is allowed to weather for about a month and then filled into the nursery bed with sand and organic matter. However, when temporary nurseries are established in forest areas rich in nutrients, no additional manureal inputs are necessary. In the moist localities, the beds are raised to a height of 30 cm from ground level to prevent waterlogging. In dry zones, beds are made flush with the ground level. In very dry localities, 
with a mean annual rainfall of 750 mm or less, slightly sunken beds give better results. The seed rate per standard bed of 12 m. At Nilambar in Kerala, about 5 kg of seeds are commonly used. Teak wood sowing method, both broadcast sowing and line sowing or dibbling 5 to 10 cm apart are practiced. Line sowing or dibbling method have greater seed economy and better survival and growth. Beds normally do not need any overhead shade. Irrigation is not provided except in very dry areas. Beds are maintained free of weeds. The spacing of teak wood plants, teak can be planted at 2 meter meter 2 meter, 2.5 meter into 2.5 meter or 3 meter into 3 meter. It can also be raised along with agricultural crops at a spacing of 4 meter into 4 meter or 5 meter into 1 meter. Preparation and planting and care of teak wood. The site for planting may be either plain or gently sloping with excellent drainage. Soils derived from gneisses, schists, and trap are good for teak. Alluvial sites are superior for teak growth while late right or lateritic gravel as well as clays, black cotton, sandy and gravelly soils derived from sandstone are not good for teak plantations. Plow lands thoroughly and level it off. Mark the areas for pit digging by alignment and staking. Use pre-sprouted stumps or polypots for planting. Dig pits of 45 cm into 45 cm into 45 cm sizes. Refill the soil after seasoning and mixing with farmyard manure, FMY, and insecticides. On poor gravely sites, replace the pit soil by good soil with good organic matter. Apply 100 gram of fertilizer in the pit at the time of planting and the re after in split doses or as per the fertility status of the soil. Best planting season for teak wood farming is monsoon, preferably after the first shower. Carry of plants on one working in the first year and two workings in second and third year may be adequate. Firm up the soil after planting and apply irrigation or water supply wherever necessary. Debutting in the initial years may be done to improve the quality of timber. Weed in teak wood plantation, teak is a light demanding species and its growth and development are reduced sharply under poor light conditions. Hence, Intensive weeding is very necessary during the early establishment of the plantation, one to three years. Carry out weeding operations on a regular basis. Weeding may be carried out at three operations in the first year, two operations in the second year and one operation in the third year. Irrigation requirement for teak wood plantation, irrigation during the stress period boosts the growth of the plants. In the farming of teak wood, Irrigation should be followed by weeding and adequate soil working. Two doses of fertilizer at 50 gram per plant of NPK, 15 is to 15 is to 15, may be provided every year up to three years. By increasing the inputs of irrigation and frequent thinning, it is possible to increase the rate of diameter growth. The increase in diameter growth is, however, dependent on increasing the size of the crown, the decrease in the number of trees per acre. In other words, one can have either less or no of trees of higher girth or larger number of trees of lower girth. It has been observed that teak trees grown under irrigated condition grew faster but the sapwood content of trees increased, the wood became weak and wind damage became quite serious. A phenomenon of water blisters may also develop in teak trees grown under irrigated conditions. Such trees may appear quite healthy from outside but the inner heartwood may develop rots the spread of fungus which may further damage the tree. The teak plants grow best when the minimum monthly temperature is above 13 degrees Celsius and the maximum monthly temperature is below 40 degrees Celsius. Optimal rainfall for teak ranges between 1,250 and 3,750 mm per year, however, for the production of good quality timber the species requires a dry season of at least 4 months with less than 60 mm precipitation. The spacing of trees and the number, timing, and intensity of thinning strongly affect the pattern of growth and the yield of the plantation. If thinning is practiced late, growth rates decline or cease, whereas if the stand is thinned too early or too heavily. Thinning of teak wood plants, the first thinning is conducted in teak plantation at 5 to 10 years after planting of teak, depending on site quality and the size of initial spacing. Generally, under good site and close spacing, 1.8 into 1.8 meter and 2 into 2 meter, the first and second thinning, mechanical thinnings, 
are conducted at 5 and 10 years respectively. About 25% of the trees are left for further growth and development after the second thinning. Intercropping in teak wood plantation, intercropping in teak plantations during the initial two years of planting is a common practice where there is a demand for cultivatable land. Once the plantation area is leased out, the cleaning of the site, burning, staking and planting are done by the leaseholders. The common intercrops are paddy, chilies, maize, wheat, sesame, and various vegetables. Crops such as sugarcane, wet rice, plantain, jute, cotton, or creeping vegetables such as pumpkin and cucumber are not allowed. Pests and diseases of teak plants, teak defoliator and skeletonizer cause extensive damage to young teak plantations in teak wood farming business. Root rot due to polyporous zonalis is also common in the teak plantation. Pink disease fungus causes cankers and bark flaking. Powdery mildew caused by olivia tectony and uncinula tectony leads to premature defoliation. It is thus necessary to undertake prophylactic and control measures to ensure good health of the crops. Fresh leaf extracts of Colotropes procera, Datura metal, and Azadirecta indica were found to be most effective against teak skeletonizer. This method is of immense importance in the insect, pest control considering its harmless and pollution-free implications on the environment further avoiding the operational and residual hazards that involve in the use of organic and inorganic insecticides. Harvesting techniques of teak wood, when it comes to harvesting of teak plants, there are certain things to follow for approval of teak harvesting, mark the trees to be cut and run serial number. Submit the report to the chief of the regional forestry office. Regional the accuracy of the report by sampling. Send the report to the local forestry department with an explanation of why thinning operation needs to be done. Thinning or harvesting operation starts after the permission has been granted. The yield of teak plantation, each teak tree yields 10 to 15 cubic feet wood in about 14 years. The main stem grows to a height of 25 to 30 feet and attains a girth of 35 to 45 inches. About 400 genetically superior teak plants can be grown in one acre by adopting a spacing of teak plants as 9 feet by 12 feet. Marketing of teak wood, it's easy to market, there are many buyback programs as well as local timber depots. Some facts about teak wood or saguan plantation, usually, the teak wood plant takes 22 to 25 years to grow into a fully matured stage or final harvesting stage. A teak plantation is definitely a profitable crop in India and all over the world as there is a huge demand for teak wood. You can accommodate 500 teak plants in one acre. You can expect 10 to 15 cubic feet wood from one teak tree. You can grow teak plants from seeds and nursery raised transplants. It is better to soak the teak plant seeds for 12 hours and dry them for 12 hours for better germination. It takes two weeks to germinate the teak seeds and to see the teak plant seedlings. The bottom line of growing teak plants. Teak wood farming is highly profitable farming due to its demand in the current domestic and international market. Hope you like this video. Share this video with all friends and don't forget to subscribe Discovery Agriculture YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video.